good people welcome back to Ballers by design now excuse the way i'm looking i know i'm looking how i'm looking but i'm at home okay so don't let that distract you from what's about to happen now i saw this dessert made i think on instagram or something and i decided to do it and share it with you so this is gonna be perfect for fall if you like sweet potato pie and you like cake and all that kind of stuff we are gonna do a sweet potato dump cake okay all right y'all let's get so first in this large bowl I am starting out with five yes five sweet potatoes now my potatoes were not that big if you have large ones maybe you only need three also I'm putting in a cup of sugar and evaporated milk I use three-fourths cup now with the nutmeg I'm not really measuring I'm just sprinkling a little bit in also, you're going to need some cinnamon because you can't have sweet potatoes and don't add cinnamon, all right? I am also adding in half a cup of melted butter. And for my extract, I am actually using my homemade extract. It is spiced rum vanilla extract and it is so good. Um, if you're interested in the recipe, leave me a comment. I may do a video on that too, okay? Now that you have all of the ingredients for your sweet potato layer in the bowl, you're going to go ahead and take your hand mixer and mix it all up. Now you guys, I'll be sure to put the ingredient list in the description box if you want to follow along or make it later. You want to mix until your ingredients are well incorporated and you want to make sure that your sweet potatoes are nice and smooth. So now I'm just spraying a 9 by 13 inch baking dish that I'm going to go ahead and put my sweet potato mixture in. This is the first layer. You're going to get it into your pan and then you want to just smooth it out to make it even layer. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to start on our next layer, which is our cream cheese layer. All you're going to need for this is one block of cream cheese that has been softened to room temperature and a can of sweetened condensed milk. You're going to put that in your mixing bowl and blend it together until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so once you get your cream cheese nice and smooth, you're going to go ahead and add this to the top of your sweet potato layer. Alright, and then you just smooth this right on top all the way to the edges. Make sure you cover as much of the sweet potato layer as you can. Okay, now here comes the magic. We're gonna use a gingerbread cake mix, all right? We're gonna sprinkle this all over the top of our cream cheese layer. Now, if you don't like gingerbread, you can feel free to use yellow cake or butter cake or whatever you like. But I think this is what really makes this dump cake special and it's gonna make it really taste like fall so you want to just make sure you get it spread evenly over the cream cheese layer and I have a few clumps in here so I'm gonna go ahead of course and break those down and then smooth it on top before I go to the next step
now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and put some cold slices of butter all over the top. Now I am going to use a stick and a half. Half of stick that was left from our melted butter that we put in our sweet potato layer. And then I'm gonna use another stick. So you will need a stick and a half for the top. So I'm just gonna get this cut up and get the pieces put all over the top of the cake. I had a little bit of butter left after that last piece, so I'm just gonna cut it up into small pieces and just spread it on top of the cake just to use it up, okay? Last but not least, I'm going to sprinkle some more cinnamon on top as well as a little bit of sugar. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with foil. I will bake it the first 30 minutes with the foil on, and then I will remove it and bake it the last 30 minutes without the foil. So we will be baking this a total of one hour. Okay, y'all, it's been an hour, and look at her, isn't she beautiful? And it smells so good in here, you guys. All right, we're gonna let her cool for a bit and then we're gonna dig in. I just want y'all to feast your eyes on this goodness. And if you could smell it, oh man, you be drooling. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I know it came out scrumptious. Now, I kind of had a little bitty taste because my brother is here. Happy birthday, brother. He turned 50. Anyway, and I um, cut him some for him to take home. So I kind of had a little taste. I kind of cheated, okay? But that's all right, y'all. It's good. <laughs> so let's get into it and let's let everybody else taste it, okay? Go. Sit down. Y'all ready to taste? What's that? It's sweet potato dump cake. Everybody you drink Oh, that looks good. Yummy, yummy, yum. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do a taste test of what is this? Sweet potato dump cake. Okay, so I'm gonna try the sweet potato dump cake. Honest opinion? It's got a nice crush to it. Very sweet potato -y. So if you don't like sweet potatoes, I don't know if this would be for you. But if you like sweet potatoes, this is incredibly good. Very simple to make, I would assume. It was. The crust is wonderful. I actually really enjoy the crust. Better um, than sweet potato pie? Um, uh, I think it will come down to personal preference on that. I mm -hmm. personally like it just about the same. But, okay. um, I like how it all comes together. I'll tell you that. All right. So, do you give it two thumbs up? I'd give it a thumbs up indeed. All right. Very enjoyable. That's it, people. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Love y'all big. Peace.